Hello Guildmaster here and welcome to my analysis on the effects V-Sync has on LEGO Batman 1. We've hypothesized that a higher FPS decreases load times, but by how much is what I'm testing. So just some info, I'm using an SSD and a 10 year old PS3 controller and made sure to keep all other variables constant uh, on my computer. So uh, let's begin with the time from starting a new game to when you get control. As you can see I've timed it from the frame the menu disappears to the frame Batman first moves. Um, I'm spamming the skip key as fast as possible and that should only be the source of error um, as I'm probably not pressing it every 1 60th of a second. So let's begin. As you can see, VSync off is 6 seconds faster than on, but I went ahead and trialed at intervals of 100 FPS 3 times each and calculated the average to graph the decreasing loading time compared to FPS. On the left we have the amount of time the loading took and on the bottom is the FPS that's going up by 100 each time. We can already see the largest slope occurs within 60 to 200 FPS, but as the FPS reaches higher numbers, there seems to be no change or negligible change. Some interesting notes though is that my fastest loading was 9 seconds and 27 frames at 900 FPS, but my third fastest loading was 9 seconds and 33, fa uh, 33 frames at 600 FPS. So honestly, it seems pretty random at these higher FPS values. In conclusion, take this data how you want. I, for one, do not think VSync should be banned throughout an entire level. Um, everyone should be able to get such FPS values. And if we're going to allow the skips anyways. Um, rip console players but you know that's how it is and uh, yeah so I have a bunch of other random things I timed that I'll put here at the end of the at the end of the video but thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe see ya